Okay, so for example number two, um, it says that a student is taking a quiz and randomly guesses the answers for four true false questions. So a student is guessing, student is guessing. on a quiz that consists of four true-false answers. The question is, what's the probability of guessing to correct Let me word this specifically exactly to correct. And so we got to figure out the sample space. So I'm going to let C equal the correct answer and capital letter I equal the incorrect answer. So then, the scenario then would be, um, let's talk about the number of correct So we're going to have zero, that's one option. We're going to have one correct answer, that's another option. Two correct answers, three correct answers, and four. Now to find the probability of something, the theoretical probability Let's put that up here at the top. Um, theoretical probability is equal to the number of favorable outcomes, in other words, what you want, so that's favorable outcomes, let me spell it out because you guys will say I don't know what word that is I can't see the last letter <laughs> favorable outcomes over the total number outcomes so the first thing I gotta do is figure out what the total number outcomes are and then um, figure out the favorable ones okay so this is what we would consider to be favorable actually this is what we consider to be favorable we want to know exactly two okay so um, now let's figure out the sample space for all of these so we gotta figure out what the total number of outcomes are so now if I have zero correct that means I got one, two, three, four incorrect. Okay. Now, if I had one correct, that means I could have one correct. In other words, I got the first one right. Or I got the second one correct. Or I got the third one correct. or I got the fourth one correct. Okay. Now, I'm going to need to make my box bigger because this next one isn't going to fit. Okay. So now to get two correct, I could get the first two incorrect and the last two correct. Then on the next one, I could get the first incorrect, then correct, incorrect, then correct. That's one possibility. I could get the first two correct and the last two incorrect. I could get the first one correct and the last one incorrect. Um, 
Hmm. I should have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Oh, the middle two correct. So I could have an incorrect, correct, correct, and then incorrect. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you got to think that through. There could be, I, you know, I just thought out loud, but you could have a system like moving the first C through the, you know, you, but you could make this by drawing those diagrams that we did in the previous example, if you had to, right? You, you could just, um, how would you do that? Uh, so the way that that would work is you have two choices. You have correct and incorrect, right? And that this would be like the question number one. And then for question number two, your scenarios would be correct and incorrect. And this would be correct and incorrect. And then for each one of these, you have correct and incorrect. That's question number three. Uh, correct and incorrect correct and incorrect, correct and incorrect, and then each one of these this will be correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect, okay, and let me extend that out a little bit so you could see it a little better. So what I'm doing is, is I'm figuring out the total sample space and all the outcomes that you could possibly have. So And so if I look through here, like I could have four correct, I could have two correct, and then two incorrect. So you're just looking through the combos. So like this would be CCC, this could be CCI, I, CCI. So that's where I'm coming up with these scenarios. So now let's use the tree to figure out how many I have three correct. So I have correct, 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 incorrect. So that's one, correct, 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 incorrect. That's one possibility. I have, uh, let's start with the incorrects. Or I could do this, I could say correct, incorrect, correct, 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 incorrect, correct, correct. Um, I could do correct, correct, incorrect, correct. Correct, correct, incorrect, correct. Um, and then I could do the first one that says incorrect. So incorrect, correct, correct, correct. So I could say incorrect, correct, correct, correct. And I think that's about it. Yep. And then the fourth one, correct, 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 is just going to be correct, 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 correct. Now it takes a little practice. Obviously, I can do it really quickly. Right, because I'm a math teacher. But just go through and make the factoring tree, or not factoring tree, but the sample space, and then just find the combinations that satisfy uh, this information. All right, so the original question was, what was our favorable outcome? But let's figure out our total outcomes. If I add all this up, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, where that comes from is 2 times two possible outcomes times two times two, that equals 16, right? So in each scenario, it could be, each question could be correct or incorrect. That's two possible outcomes. The next scenario could be correct or incorrect. That's two more. Okay, so it's possible outcome, possible outcome, times possible outcome, times. Now that's just the way the question is worded that it works out. Some We don't do this all the time. And we'll learn more about that when we do permutations and combinations. Okay? But what they want to know is how many favorable outcomes do we have. So I have one, two, three, four, five favorable outcomes. Okay? 
actually, I feel like I'm, wait, one, two, three, four, five. That should be six. So we need two correct. So I have correct, correct, incorrect, incorrect. I have correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect. Do I have that? CI? CI? Yep, right there. Then I have the incorrect. So I have incorrect, incorrect, correct, correct. Two C's in the middle. Yeah. Then I have incorrect, incorrect, correct, correct, I-I-C-C, -C. yeah. And then I have I-C-I, I-C-C, C-I-C, C-I-I. Do I have C-I-C-I? -C -I? You, you could do correct, incorrect, correct, incorrect. So I forgot one. So there's one more that goes C-I-C-I. -C -I. So my favorable ones, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six over my total outcomes, which is 16. If I divide this by two, remember whatever I do on the top, I have to do on the bottom, I get three eighths. So my probability of um, me guessing exactly to correct. In other words, if I take this quiz eight times and I completely guess, and I if I take this quiz eight times and I completely guess, the, there's a pretty good chance that three of the eight times that I take it, I'll only get two correct. So as you can see, guessing is not the best way to approach uh, quizzes. Okay.